Hi, I'm Hope and I love fire. And today I'm gonna be a little bit more real with you because I have a lot on my mind today and I think it merits sharing. So I'm learning a whole lot of things about myself lately from the absolute experts on the subject. Anonymous cranky commenters on the internet. And now I'd like to share some of these mind-blowing secrets about myself with everyone so I don't have to hear about it anymore. Uh, like that's actually gonna work. Secret number one. I am a dumb bimbo. Yeah, it's out. I am an airhead with absolutely nothing worthwhile to say. For the whole 30 minutes of footage of myself that I've released on the internet as of yet. Those 30 minutes are the 30 minutes of my life that define my entire existence. I've never read a single book in my life, nor am I about three courses short of a master's degree. No, I'm a dumb airhead and I don't know how to read words and... Beneath this majestic golden mane lies a vast, empty chasm. Secret number two. I'm fat. Uh, <laughs> yep guys, it's out. I am just mad crazy fat. You know, just, just for the record, my body does fall into the uh, normal category for my height and weight. So if you think I'm fat, you need to go get your eyes checked. Th th does uh, calling me fat make you feel better about your own physique? Cause like, I mean, if it does, Keep it up, you know? My beauty and my self-worth are not defined by your standards. For the record, this is my double chin. Wait, let's see if I can do it. Oh. Secret number three, I'm a slut. <laughs> yeah, because I wear low-cut tops sometimes and I show a bit of confidence. That automatically makes me one big freaking hoe bag. I'm a giant whore. I might as well take this little top off. Because showing skin automatically means you're a whore. You know, unless you're, you're a guy and it's hot outside, and, and I don't at all happen to live in a place where it's really, really hot and totally freaking expensive to keep the AC on all the time, you know, uh, none of that. Um, you know, I just wear this shit because 100% of the time I am devising a way to get a man to stare at me. And I blatantly ignore the fact that any attempt of mine to look more appealing is a federal offense. And you know what, my, my body is a weapon, perhaps, but unfortunately it's really, really difficult to get a concealed carry license in Los Angeles, so stare away my pretties, cause they ain't going nowhere. Sorry. Secret number four, I am a one-dimensional vagina. My personality is yeast infection. I have no passions or quirks. I don't like classic rock or soul music. I don't know how to yodel. I never wear interesting socks with llamas on them and I don't speak French. And my favorite pastime is definitely not sitting at the local pub having a good conversation over a frosty mug of beer. <laughs> A lot of people have shown much concern over my demeanor in my videos and I just wanted to let you know that I do care and I really want to know what I'm doing wrong, um, but I need your help. So tell me, is it what I wear? I mean, is it the hair? Yes, it's natural, by the way. Thanks for asking. So tell me which shade of lipstick is more slutty, kiss me coral or cum dumpster pink? You know, maybe I should take it down a couple nanometers on the electromagnetic spectrum. You know, or, or maybe I could lose some weight, you know, drop the curves, um, or, or perhaps I could cover it all up. Does this baggy sweatshirt render me safe to look at? Do I speak my mind too freely? Do I, do I curse too much? Perhaps. But you want to know what I really think? I think there's always going to be someone that's gonna find something wrong with me. And there's always going to be someone that wants me shut up or covered up or knocked up and barefoot. And you want to know what else I think? I think I don't care um, because the only person that's ever going to approve of me 100% of the time is me and I'm alright with that. You know what? It's really, really easy to send anonymous hate mail to someone you've never met and about whom you know next to nothing. You know, and I may still be just a talking pair of tits to you, but at least I'm not a dick. To my fans, I love you. You are all beautiful human beings. And to my haters, I love you too, because you give me somebody to piss off. So keep squirming. I got a lot up these figurative sleeves. Are we good? Okay? No? Alright, I'll be back on next week. 
Hi, my name is Hope, and my favorite way to imbibe ginger ale was in a Spider-Man glass with a freaking neon green bendy straw. Huh. You know, if I cover it up this much, if I cover it up that much, oh no, my shoulders are still showing. Oops, my arms, my arms are covered. Oh, damn it, there's my cleavage again. Oh, you can see my mouth. I'm still talking. I'm so fat, I'm just gonna hide myself under a grassy knoll and, and just take roost and never show myself ever again to the public because fat people don't have lives and fat people have no intrinsic worth. Oops, I forgot my underwear.